All right, welcome back to Hot Topics, everybody. It's still your host with the most. It's your boy, SoFlow TV from SoFlow TV, or should I say SoFlow from SoFlow TV. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a new video goes up on Hot Topics TV. Rapper Fetty Wap was released on $500,000 secured bond. Let's talk about that. So the rapper Fetty Wap has been released on a $500,000 secured bond following his major drug arrest. The 30-year-old who's born William Jr. Maxwell II, he pleaded not guilty last week to participating in what authorities call a multi-million dollar bi-coastal drug scheme. Let me tell you something. When the feds come get you, this is FBI level-ish. And when the FBI says they have been compiling information on you for years, you and your organization, they mean they are here to get you. You're going to have to get a very good lawyer and be very skilled with his skills to get you off of this. Anyways, he will be subject to a GPS monitoring and random drug test while he is on bond. So no more smoking 24-7, rolling up that good kush. No more consuming too much alcohol or anything like that. Because if he pops hot on this test, he's going in right away. This doesn't mean he's free. This just means he has to stay still until they take him to trial, right? So he's going to be monitored by GPS and he'll have to subject to random drug tests while he is out on this bond. He is also required to surrender his passport while he waits for trial. So the judge says, I don't care if you have shows lined up overseas, cancel those. You can't go anywhere. Surrender your passport and sit still. What does that tell you? That tells you that as a musician who is known internationally, the judge doesn't care. Okay, it's kind of like what they did to R. Kelly, just locked him in. They let Weinstein out so Weinstein could conduct business, tie up all his loose ends, and then go into prison. They just grabbed R. Kelly and kept him there the whole time. And he was like, hey, you could put me on house arrest. I'm R. Kelly. I won't run. I didn't run the first, second, or the third time y'all caught me with them little children's. But... They said, nope, you are a flight risk. Fetty Wap, fairly enough, has ties to, I believe, Haiti and a couple of other places. So he very much could be seen as a flight risk. Plus, the amount of time that he is looking at and the amount of drugs that they're talking about, I would run if that was me. But anyhow, let's talk about Fetty Wap and not myself. Maxwell, who was Fetty Wap, and five others were charged with conspiracy to distribute and possess controlled substances, including, including, not only, but including cocaine, fentanyl, and heroin, according to the indictment that was unsealed last week. Authorities claim that the group used the U.S. Postal Services and cars with hidden compartments to distribute over 100 kilograms, 100 kilograms of illegal substances including cocaine, heroin, fentanyl, and crack cocaine from the West Coast to Long Island and New Jersey. Once the group arrived with their drugs on Long Island, they were allegedly then distributed to dealers at lower level and Maxwell was accused of being a kilogram level distributor for the drug trafficking organization. You see, Maxwell is known best for his chart topping hits, Trap Queen. The song that had every female wanting to be in the trap with a hood ninja. Which earned him two Grammy nominations in 2015 and led to two additional hit songs, Baby Won't You Come My Way, and 679. He was scheduled to perform at Rolling Loud when he was arrested a couple of weeks back at City Field in New York City. A U.S. law enforcement source told CBS News, and that's when it was first printed. The fact that we arrested a chart-topping rap artist and a corrections officer as part of the conspiracy 
illustrates just how vile this drug trade has become. Michael Driscoll, assistant director in charge of the FBI New York field office, said. Did you realize who just said that? Director in charge of the FBI. You're not going nowhere. If convicted, he could face a life sentence. The only way he could face a life sentence is they hit him with that RICO law. And since it is a organization, and since it was a massive amount of drugs, over 100 kilos, he fits the bill. I hope he doesn't get a life sentence, but I don't see him walking away from this one unscratched, unscathed. Fetty might have to do what 6 9 did and start telling on some people to lower his time or do what Alpo did. Not kill anybody, but snitch on a whole bunch of people to lower his time. Otherwise, he about to get hit with the elbow. And when we say elbow, we talking about 25 years or more. That boy ain't built for that. That's just my opinion. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one and stay tuned to Hot Topics TV. All right, hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.